Thank you for writing and publishing this book. We've been through this before, but this time I thought it would be nice to have a guideline to remind me of what I needed to do and to give me some assurance that I was doing the right things. And first and foremost, making sure that my golden girl, Daisy, was as happy, as confident, and as comfortable as possible. She wanted to fight, and she has proven that she wanted to fight four times already. We're here to support her fight. This book reminds me to pay attention to my dog's happiness, and it's a reminder that every dog is different and handles treatment, disease, and their health, and their recovery differently. Nobody can put a time frame on life. We worked hard to interview and find doctors who we thought were problem solvers. We're really happy with our team of vets. Unfortunately, we had an emergency room visit after a tumor on her heart ruptured, and we were met by an ER vet who gave us a time frame of only a few hours and told us she wouldn't make it and we needed to put her down. Well, I am very happy to say that Daisy proved that ER vet wrong, very wrong. Our golden girl pulled through 14 hours later and came home with us. She survived another four months, and within three weeks of the incident, she was a happy girl, feeling good, bouncing around, chasing cats, and flinging her stuffed animals around and enjoying life as all dogs should. I have now been to four vets, and none of them have given me any information about cancer or what it does to my dog, nor did they explain exactly what type of cancer she has. I do know that she has a tumor on her hip and a tumor in her chest and water in the sac around her heart. She has acetus, and they don't seem to know why. They gave her prednisone, which I've taken, taken it away, as she is just wasting away from the drug and the vet doesn't seem to care. I needed to know more about how I can help her get through this trying time, and I have found this help in your wonderful book. It was ex expensive, but sure was well worth it. Thank you for writing it and informing all of us so we have the knowledge to help our, our wonderful pets. Thank you. Thank you. I want to use every dollar wisely, so I was hesitant to spend any of the money from my dog's treatment fund on a book, but I'm so glad that I did. Um, first of all, Dr. Dressler's sensitivity and understanding of the emotional side of going through a cancer diagnosis and treatment with a beloved dog was amazing. I love the fact that he recognizes the importance of a good mindset and that in order to take care of our dogs, we must first take care of ourselves. The exercises he presented for coping with the emotions and developing a good mindset was wonderful and very helpful. In addition to that, I really appreciated getting an honest take on both conventional and alternative therapies from a doctor who uses and accepts both of them. That made me feel like I was getting straight facts and not spin. Also, Dr. Dressler's description and presentation of research on alternative therapies that have been proved to work really helped me decide which treatments might be best for my dog. I also appreciated that he recommended certain brands and or explained exactly what to look for in a supplement because there are so many brands out there it can be difficult to tell which supplements are the best quality. For example, I discovered that the brand of green tea extract I had been giving my dog contained only 30% of the active ingredient and had caffeine in it, and Dr. Dressler recommended a brand with 95% and no caffeine. I'll definitely switch. Thank you for a terrific book that was worth every penny and more. I will consult it often as I work with my dog in this fight against cancer. My name is Pat Kern, and I'd like to tell you about Max, our beloved Austrian Shepherd Lab Mix. Max was given to me as a birthday gift from my daughter and her husband. The only trouble was getting him. See, my wife and I live in Porter, Texas, and our kids live in Tomlin, Georgia. So we drove the eight, nine hundred miles to get Max. Now, Max in these early years was like most of us, into everything. Loved affection, needed discipline, needed a routine. This we were able to give, but Max became more than a pet. He became a member of the family. We took him to the doctor's offices, church meetings, shopping, or just riding in the truck. When he heard the keys rattle, he was at the door waiting to go. As Max matured, he hurt his right knee. So we took him to the vet and they provided some of the medical care he needed. No, no surgery was scheduled at that time. During the summer, he missed getting in the truck and hurt his other knee. So we set up a time to repair the knee and surgery was scheduled. Planning on doing the left knee first, then the right, he healed from the first one. Now while we 
while he was healing from the surgery on his left knee, we went on a vacation to Georgia. We were all, we all picked up a cold, but Max never seemed to recover from it. We took him back to the vets for the cold and to see about the surgery. The vet's office did the normal pre-operations and took x-rays and ultrasound and found large modules on his lungs and other internal organs. They did a biopsy and found cancer. Canceled the surgery, called us for a consultation. It was heartbreaking. Cancer. For adults, it scares you to death. But to hear for your best friend and loyal friend, it was almost too much to take. We asked about treatments, operations, the normal things people would ask. Told him maybe just too much for too much to ask of Max to go through the surgery. Treatments or others to remove them. For you see, Max was only seven years old. How could this be? So many questions, yet so many unknowns. About this time, I was checking online about cancer in dogs when I came across the book by Dr. Dressler, Dog Cancer Survival. I purchased the book because I needed the answers. I got more than the answers. I learned what to do now that my best friend has mass cell tumors on that loma. I learned what it was, how we could treat it, and when enough was enough. In the book, I learned how cancer spread and what can be done. I saw where Max was enjoying some of the supplements and treatments that Dr. Dressler told us about in his book. But when the time came, I was ready because I understood what quality of life meant. And just what would Max tell me if he could speak? We understand better now how to make Max more comfortable and learn when enough was enough. The day before Valentine's Day, we let Max go. The hardest thing we've ever had to do. But we have his ashes and the pictures with us to remind us. Now we are teaching two other dogs that were to be put down because of the breeds. Just what love is. For you see, Max's legacy goes on. <clears throat> For Max gave love, and we will pass that on. One of the neatest songs is Dog and God. I hope you listen to it and read Dr. Dresser's book because I think it says a lot. I know you will be blessed by his book. So I would like to thank Dr. Dressler for the book. He taught both my wife and myself more than he'll ever know. And have a good day.